So this piece of work is about putting together all of the things you've been doing over the last few weeks. So the starting point is the horizon line with the two vanishing points. Remember to label them up, VP1 and VP2. And then start with the nearest vertical, keep it at 90 degrees, and then aim your ruler at the vanishing points. Two lines to VP1, two lines to VP2. Then stick two verticals parallel to that first one. And then put the roof on, going to VP1 and VP2. Then what we're going to do is put a cube behind this one. So you start with the vertical line again. Go two lines to VP1. A line to VP2. Make sure you're accurate, getting it right on the X. And then just line your ruler up at VP2 and do a, do a short line because this cube is going to be, be behind the first one. And you'll see the illusion this creates as it creates uh, a depth to your drawing. So remember, try and keep your vertical lines as close to 90 degrees as possible, like right angles. And also you'll notice that when I do my lines to the vanishing point, I'm not drawing a pencil line all the way up to the vanishing point. I'm just lining the ruler up so it's on it. Remember the illusion you're creating is as things get further away, they should look smaller. So that's why it's pretty easy to spot when the mistake's been made. Now this cube is gonna be above the horizon line. So you can see, you can't see the top. So these are the easiest ones to draw. The horizon line is your eye level. So you can't see the top of the cube. You just see the peak of it. And also, because this one is behind the first three that you've drawn, you don't have to draw the bottom of it. So I'm going to draw this again. Look, start with the vertical, two lines to the vanishing points, then two verticals either side. And you can add as many of these as you can fit on. I think we're going to aim for a minimum of seven buildings. So there we go. Now, if you want to look at the other video that has been time-lapsed of my cityscape, you can see I've included a lot more things on that, like windows and lettering and pyramids. If you want to do that, you can do. But this is something I think we can all have a go at. So taking away segments, as we've done before, keeping all the verticals 90 degrees and then doing the other diagonals to the vanishing points. Now what I'm going to show you here is how you can put a curve when you take a shape. So two lines to VP2 here. And then what you can do now is just with your, you can either have it sloped by using your ruler there, or you can freehand it and just freehand a curve in there, a curve in there, and then you just need to rub out the remainder. I've been quite dark with my pencil, so it shows up on the uh, filming, but best policy is always to be super light with a pencil you can always be dark after the fact so here we go continue taking a few more segments out so it's on that side of the building that's aiming at VP1 but the inside line goes to VP2 so every time you use a diagonal it goes to a vanishing point here's another one Two verticals, then a little line to VP1.
once you've tidied it up with a rubber, choose a light source. I always go for the top right hand corner. I'm gonna add some coloring onto this. So remember the three tones that you're trying to create is light, medium, and dark. So the light will be on the top, the medium will be to the right hand side, the dark will be to the left hand edge of the cube. Try to keep your pencil strokes going all the same way. You can do them all different colored cubes like I've done, but just make sure that you don't do them different colored sides. Now, next step is fine lining. So if, remember, if you spent all this time being accurate with your coloring and with your pencil, be accurate with your fine lining because it will either make it look really good or it could potentially ruin it. So make sure you are using a ruler take your time, make sure you get them dead on. If you don't have a fine liner at home, uh, you can use a biro pen. If that's what you've got, that'll work just as well. So make sure you get all the lines with the fine liner. Occasionally you do miss a couple, so step back, have a look and go over them. And then you should be finished with a futuristic cityscape in two point perspective. <laughs> 